Welcome to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. We still have some tickets left for our ACT live show in Sanford. Yeah, if man. you want to get them, go to TomandDan.com. And also, our BDM-only uh, party is coming up 420 at the end of BDM uh, Appreciation Week. Yeah. So if you are not a BDM, you can still sign up. We're going to send out one last group email to every BDM sure. that's an active member uh, right before the party, just so uh, you know any new signups, that they, they'll know the information. But uh, if you didn't get the information, email us, show at TomandDan.com or Tom at TomandDan.com. We'll let you know yep. where the party's at, what time it starts, all the entertainment involved. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. And, it, and I know what you're thinking, 420. No, no, that's not what we're doing. We're actually uh, elevating this event. It's a little bit yeah. more of an adult event. It's um, real entertainment, real DJ, real music, real dancers, real show. We signed the contract today, Boom. and we did check Coconut Bra. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we was, had a choice. That was, yeah, yeah. We had a choice, fully covered or Coconut Bra. <laughs> and Big Dog over here, he signed Coconut Bra with a golden pen. <laughs> I appreciate uh, you doing that, buddy. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen you sign something faster. And then I'm I took, a true patriot. And then I took pictures of the documents because we don't have a scanner here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we sent them pictures. But it'll work. It'll work. It's <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. They don't even really need the document. No, no, no. <laughs> we just did that to seem yeah, like yeah, fancy. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, what's going to happen if yeah, we don't? <laughs> exactly. But Coconut Bras, we signed the deal. All right. Do you want to do voicemails and emails? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's jump into these. I picked this one uh, especially because I hadn't heard about this. But we do have listeners all across the uh, well, all across the world. We have listeners, but predominantly, they're, I'd say they're on the southeast. You know, that's where we reside, yeah. and most of our listeners are local. But we do have a lot of people that move and and that listen to us all up and down the Carolinas and Georgia. Yeah, I think Florida, obviously, the number one downloaded state. But then it's like Texas, New York, California, all the big. Yeah. Population states, big in California, yeah. big in Texas. Georgia. Actually, Georgia Georgia's has always huge. been on. Yeah, I think it's just migration from Florida. Yeah. But anyway, um, but this is an email from one of our listeners, I believe, in the Carolinas. Um, hey guys, side note: Did y'all know Pornhub is blocked in North Carolina? Like, if you use location services on your phone and it tracks you across the state line, you cannot get into it without doing. Uh, you cannot do this. You can have access to other sites like NXX or other sites like that, I suppose. But if you want Pornhub, it is gone. My curated porn reel is missing. Ha ha. So that's a thing now, I guess, because I think we actually have a bill maybe up in Florida to do something pseudo similar. I don't really pay attention to politics the way that I should, but I know that there is something else that could go well, it's a, in. That's a ban of social media for 14-year-olds or the under DeSantis, 14. Yeah. Uh, Which it, it doesn't mean, like, all it's going to have the social media. Oh, the media. bill already passed. Okay, thank yeah. you, SJ. But the company is just going to have to put up, like, are you over 14? And there's no way to regulate it. <laughs> like, so it's, it's up to, uh, you know, whoever to right. tell the truth or not. But if you're under 14, you could definitely click yes and then still use it. So I, I what? Guess, <laughs> you know. I mean, maybe I'm crazy, but like, you know, like, how do you feel about people that have like, like if you had a TikTok account and you were a TikTok user and then just one day you're locked out of it and you're done? It uh, seems like a lot of people are like, well, give me that back. That's mine. And I'm of the take because maybe I'm new. I'm still like the old man that was gifted social media. I look at it like. It was it's never mine right. to begin yeah, with. Yeah, 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 it's never been mine. Like, I, like yeah, yeah. I've had a Twitter account since like oh nine, I yeah, think, yeah. and I've got tons of people on there. But if they it's take a, it away, it's, it, it was never mine. Yeah, it's like your right of freedom of speech or whatever. Right, like, this right. Is, this is a private company that's in yeah, it for the money. Exactly. <laughs> and you are a member of that. Uh, the the they control it. it. The I think it got weird because we're all used to speaking our mind through social media. So there, be, because of us, uh, at least in America, there's only reference i have sure is that we've been ingrained in like freedom of speech freedom of speech and then so this is how we use our uh speech through social media so then when they take it away you're like what yeah freedom of speech right, <laughs> you're like, right. but you, you, because you are it's synonymous with actual talking in real life through social media so it's it, it's it's a weird blurred line um but yeah i mean if they took the weird the weird thing about the uh tiktok thing is there are other companies that do just video reels i mean instagram does it uh, youtube is starting it so 
the what you're looking for is like small videos to scroll through and now i guess the algorithm of tiktok is a, it seems it, a little it bit seems more, more accurate advanced and more, or more advanced accurate. Or whatever. yeah also i think what the problem is though is that it's like you've put sweat equity into this right like i guess curating your algorithm if you've ma- got followers yeah yes. it, it could be your business it, yeah it, for a lot of people it is but again i'm still never i've never been that guy where i've looked at my instagram even for this company any of the like social yeah, yeah, medias yeah, yeah. that we have, that's not our company. That's just our social media. Yeah, yeah. If they choose to take that, I still have a podcast. I still have these computers. I still have you. You know what I mean? Like I've never looked at it like it's a commodity that's really, really, truly mine. I've never looked at it like that. Yeah, me and neither, that's such yeah. an old man maybe no, way no. to look at it. No, but it's I think a- kids don't look at it like that. Like Maisie thinks, my daughter believes that she doesn't have one, but she thinks her account is hers. Yeah, she thinks that like her Roblox or YouTube, like the relationship is way different. Yeah, like yeah. YouTube is as much a part of her brain. <laughs> it's an American right yeah, now. Exactly. <laughs> Keep in mind, yeah. God damn, you're, you're right. Yeah, you're like right. it's a possession. Like it, her. Like she would cry if she lost it, right? Like if her, her account. Yeah. yeah. I mean, your face because if you start to look at it and like you curate all your photos and your whole life is there. So oh, your wife has been terrified of it, this for a year. It's valuable. You know, remember, I, I, I made the it's the, invaluable to some people because I like for me, I have a bad memory. There yeah, are pictures yeah. of my father on social media that are only on social media. Yeah. So you've curated and then you've taken the best photos uh, of your life and you post them weekly or whatever. I filtered out all my acne. A- and then you have a, you know, decades long, uh, you know, history of your life through pictures and comments and things. And it's like, it's really a snapshot of your, you know, 20 years of your life. How long is Facebook around? Like, you know, whatever it is. And so if someone took it away, it really is like taking like a photo album away oh, yeah. or like some history of yourself because that has been what you've portrayed as your social media life. May right? I tangent for a second? Yeah. Per- permission to tangent. This is related, unrelated. What is your feeling on these types of devices that they're selling now that are basically for people like me and your and your wife? And what I mean by that is um, for years you've been laughing at me and Crystal because we are the type of people where if I'm eating a bag of Ruffles potato chips and I reach in and I grab a handful and I'm crunching them up like a wild animal, I will hand them to you and be like, put these away. I have no self-control. Yep. They now make a device, I believe it's called a puck, that you can buy that you download an app on your phone and you buy the little puck. And anytime your phone is next to the puck, it will disengage all of the apps that would be distractions for you. So for you, I would add Facebook, TikTok, all social media, email, emergency phone calls can come through, Bovada is off, all of your betting sites, yeah, and yeah. then is then I take the puck, I lay it on top of your phone, and when the puck's on top of your phone, distractions are free. It's for people that have no self-control. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I, th- I see it, and I'm like, that's so freaking genius and dumb at the same time. Because the people you're, who's gonna are the people with no self control going to make the purchase and buy that? Yes. And then, yes, but they're not going to use it. And then have the because they don't have the self control. Self control <laughs> <laughs> to put it on their phone to block them. You know, like uh, you have to be responsible a little Correct. bit. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. But Although, that is a new thing. There are so many of these now. In fact, the fact that I even said that, I bet you're inundated with uh, ads for these. I have been crushed lately with ads about not being distracted. It has everything to do with you and I, personnel changes around here. We've been talking about trying to not be distracted. So now I'm getting these ads of like, hey Dan, buy this puck and lay it on your phone and it'll turn all your apps off that will distract you. I mean, there is something sort of, what's weird about it is that the concept, when I think about it, sounds sort of nice. Like it does, it sounds when, good. When I'm like in Colorado uh, uh, this past vacation, yeah, when in Moab or wherever, like when you have no cell service, like especially like we went to the fiery furnace, like there's zero cell service, yeah, you're done. zero. And even when you really drive into the park, it's zero. Um, there is a sense, and I understand it now when people are like, I disconnect or like I don't take my phone, and we're like getting. Uh, you know, unplugged from that. Yeah. It Low does, my phones are real hip right now. It does give you this sense of, wow, I'm now untethered from this device that I'm addicted to or that I constantly want to check. Well, they are starting to address it, the addiction yeah. now. now you, oh, yeah. You called this. I mean, you said that well, eventually, I mean, but now they're making products 
for it. Yeah. Like I've seen the puck is the newest one I've seen. The other ones that I've uh, been seeing are the um, you you take your phone and you forward all calls and text messages to a it's just to like a, a flip phone. And then you'd carry the flip phone and you keep your cell phone at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it and just keeps you lo-fi, I guess, and off the grid so you can accomplish. So someone can reach you, uh, but you're not constantly looking at uh, – because I think it's for faster poops. <laughs> yeah. The, it's for faster poop. Well, what are you going to look at when you poop? Because that there are certain things that's like – I've started pooping without my phone because I pooped too long. You know who called me out on that? Maisie. Maisie's like, what are you doing in there? Maisie's get yeah, to work, man. Maisie's that, like, yeah. what are you doing in there? That's daddy, real. daddy, come out here. Come out. What are you doing, daddy? And then I had to ask myself, what am I doing in there? I know what I'm doing in there. I'm reading every piece of news I can get my hands on. <laughs> yeah, you're I'm scrolling Facebook. I'm talking yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, I've talked yeah. to you. When I, I'm not doing that yeah, yeah. anymore, dude. I keep it in my pocket now. I get in and get out. What, do you go back to old school magazines? I, just, I don't look at anything. I go in. <laughs> I, it's crazy. This is crazy. You're going to think I'm insane. I go in. Uh -huh. I sit down. I concentrate on one and two. I get up, wash my hands, and walk out. It's fast. What? what? No, I know. I'm, I'm a crazy person now. You gotta read Sailing Magazine <laughs> or something. I don't read anything, dude. Uh, I get in there. I just, I, I really do. I that's your to, dad time. I don't try to strain or, or like, I'm not going hard. No, but I'm I get, strained. <laughs> <laughs> I get, eyeballs are I red. get in there and I just, I go. I try to make them quick. Yeah, that's what. Because Maisie I, was like, Maisie started timing me. And there were times when I would be in there, and I, I'll, I'll give you real numbers. I'm not afraid of okay. how horrible I am. 28 minutes. Oh, 28 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think wow. that's my top. Top dog is 28 minutes of just sitting yeah, yeah. in there. That's not good for your hemorrhoids either. You're not supposed to do yeah, that. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to expose yourself like that to the world. But they don't, you know what some dads do? And I'm Like so, Maisie, I'm when she saying, goes in, she's like, and then she's out the door. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to do it like her. So I'm going to tell you a dad secret. Chat room uh, is just roasting me for 28 okay. minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I deserve it. And Daniel will confirm because Daniel is a truth I'm teller. A truth, I'm a truth finder. <laughs> I'm a sayer and a teller. And I stand back and by. Yeah, and, he, and I know for sure Daniel does this too. And I'm not saying I do it because I'm too embarrassed. I don't even, to admit I'm it, already but, agreeing. I don't even know but, what it is. But uh, you could figure it out. And every dad and dude in probably the audience does it too. And it's something that women can't understand. And lo and I'm going to tell the men or the dude secret out there. Are you speaking just to the fellas? Yeah, well, no, I'm speaking to the women who, okay. who are confused about why we're in there for so long. Okay. Right? Yeah. There's an element of hiding. Everybody gets that. Right? Hiding for your family. That's been the joke. But then the barrier of the door is so comforting. Yeah. But then there's the element of while you're looking through your phone, uh, speaking of addiction, uh, you start seeing those websites, uh, business.com, if you know. Yes, yes, <laughs> and, yes. And then you click on them, and you start looking at that. And then, so. Old P words better than no P words. Your number two turns into a number four. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then. It can go fast. And then that, you know, takes a lot of time. And then it's really disgusting because you're in your own stink. <laughs> <laughs> you're things like doo doo. Yeah. And then it's like. You're, you're no different uh, than a. You're yeah, no yeah. different. You're than an animal. A, you're no different <laughs> than a Florida boar in the woods yeah, yeah, in yeah, your yeah. own filth. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Game of Thrones and all the, the uh, like all the guys in the army in the mud and they're disgusting. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's the all men an <laughs> and uh so what happens is number two turns into four and not all the time no. but a lot of times that's why we're in there so long i and have reached just a point, the truth i've reached a point where i've gone for the four mm. too old to complete the four. Oh yeah yeah that happens that so happens. i just get a limp yeah <laughs> one, like a limp one yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, let me get another one here. Right. Um, oh, this is a good one from Andrew. Ella J. BDM here, grew up in Volusia, left in 2013, and now live in Ella J., Georgia. Hearing you guys talk about Central Florida has always felt a bit like home, and hearing you talk about the squid statue and biggins, great ribs, was bizarre and awesome. Love canoeing the local rivers and living in these mountains. Glad you enjoyed your vacation here. Love the show. Andrew. Thank you, buddy. I saw a lot of people excited about you talking about uh, different landmarks in Georgia. They, again, we have a lot of Georgia listeners. We really do. And Georgia's, dude, Georgia's rad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Not the colder Florida. It's just a slightly colder Florida. The people are very friendly and very much the same. They have a respect for alligators and yeah. weird creatures. They and love Bigfoot. Every state has awesome places to go to. Yes. Like, every single one. People, like, people label states like, oh, there's nothing in Mississippi. Nope. There's awesome parts Even of Mississippi. 
Jersey. Yeah, like New Even Jersey. Even in yeah. the, the, the home yeah. of my dad's company, Inglewood Cliffs, <laughs> which is nothing but industrial, there's probably yeah. something pretty rad there. Oh, there's awesome places all across different states that, uh, you know, there's pockets of really cool places and, like, uh, you know, uh, cool places to see, cool towns. I like and the mountains, and, and I didn't think I would like this, but maybe it's the age and also having a kid, but I very much enjoy hiking. Hiking is fun. Yeah, yeah. Like, I like just stomping around out there, you know? I mean, you could either, you could either stomp on flat ground around a track, or you could stomp through beautiful trees and mountains, so why not? Being in nature makes total sense to me. Why? Now, I know it doesn't, like, I guess, release the same endorphins it does for everybody. It does for me than it does for other people. Some people aren't that into nature. But it makes sense that just as human beings, we find it appealing and it de-stresses us. It, and it, it relaxes me. And then we just enjoy the beauty of it, you know, like because I do. I, I Not that many people that I've ever met will go to a beautiful place and not be impressed by what they're looking. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's, it, no one's going to be like, does zero, for, like yeah, zero. Yeah. Like, you may be like, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But I, you, I get it. You, you know, it's going to do something stimulate. And I think that's like ingrained into our human biology. We just like, I mean, it makes sense. We evolved in nature. Is Fiery Furnace your favorite that you've been to, you think? Or... There's a lot of cool. I mean, that was a unique hike. And do your boys have a favorite destination you guys have gone to? Um, May really loved this cabin in the mountains because, yeah, like, yeah. she likes the idea of. Do, she's very much like doing doing stuff on herself, like for herself. Yeah. And in the mountains, you kind of do that, you know, like you get your own tube and you go down the river, you know, like you don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. not a tour girl, you know. She's yeah, like, yeah. just turn me loose in the nature. I'll figure it out. Give me a fishing pole. Oh, I, I realized that a long time ago that, uh, that I, I, because when we first started doing these and the boys were getting old enough to even go on these adventures or whatever, I became like, I was like, oh, let's do rent the snowmobile. Let's go on the four by four tour. Let's go on this tour. All like $800 tours, yeah, you know. Yeah. And then you do them, and they're like, okay. Nothing. And then we do a hike that's free, and we eat bologna sandwiches on the top of the mountain, and we're like, this was more fun than the $800 <laughs> tour we did. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I was yeah. like, free, $800, and this is more fulfilling. Yeah, like, it is. It so is. So then I just I leaned heavy towards like, all right, well, let's just do that. because You might as well try it first. You have nothing to lose. I mean, yeah. we did three state parks in Georgia, and every state park was $5. We blew $15. For all three of us to have amazing experiences, fifteen yeah. bucks yeah. for three full days of fun, you know. So anyway, and and the hard work is part of it. Like you know, that you hike to the top of the mountain or over the overlook or whatever. Like there's an ending spot. It's like you did it, so you get a micro accomplishment. Yeah. And then maybe you uh, like you know have a drink up there, and then you go down and you're like, okay, I worked out a little bit, saw some cool stuff, all for free. Like, I'm surprised hiking, like... For a split second, I thought you were making fun of me when you said micro-accomplishment, but then I realized quickly you were not. Um, yeah, let's, try, let's try this one right here, voicemail. What's oh, up, wait, guys? wait, wait. I have to give this one an award. I think you're going to love this one. Okay. This is Ben with a Y. This is voicemail of the week. What's up, guys? Ben with a Y here. Hey, I was listening to the OG show, and y'all were talking about Tom being able to help his sons with his homework. And my kids are, you know, my son is 17 and my daughter is 13. And long have the days passed since I've been able to help them with their homework. But what's funny is, you know, I can't help them with their homework, but I know how, I guess, for being alive and through the Internet all these years, I know how to find the answers to things. So, like, my daughter, she's doing Spanish work, and she's like, uh, you know, I really can't figure this out. I need to know how to, you know, write this sentence in Spanish or whatever. I was like, well, let me see what you got. She has this worksheet. I'm like, well, why don't you just Google and at the bottom of the, <laughs> the bottom of the worksheet. Well, first, I'm like, just Google the question. I'm sure the answer has probably been posted on the internet, right? So, it hasn't been posted. But I was like, well, just Google the manufacturer of the workbook and see if there's a teacher's edition that you could see for free. And sure enough, you know that whole Spanish workbook you can find online for free, the teacher's edition. So. I feel like I can't help my kids anymore except to help them cheat on their work. Anyway, love you guys. Bye. I figured you'd like that one. Yeah, uh, I figured uh, man after your own heart. Well, th this be gets into a more complicated, interesting conversation to me because it goes back to, remember, we were talking about looking through, uh, looking for the answer through a book yeah, as opposed to just clues. Googling yeah, it, yeah. you know? 
where we live in a world where we often like I'll, I'll be helping Tommy with his homework or whatever, and I'll ask Alexa what the answer is, and then she'll tell me. And then and then the boys have mm, learned to ask Alexa different questions, how to spell things, what you know, all yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then Maisie does that. And then it dawned on me. I'm like, well. They're just asking a computer to look up the answer online, and it looks it up and it tells yeah, them. Yeah, right? typing is telling. It's <laughs> a, you know whatever. So, so if like, but that's the only. What other way are they going to find the answer if they don't know? You have to look it up online. There's no books anymore. I mean, there were times though. Do you remember not knowing the answer to a question and then coming in with your like? I was a good student. I can remember a time. Uh-huh. This is there's no such thing as this anymore. Yeah. But I remember a time when the question was this. And I'm like, impossible to find. I the got answer. nothing, <laughs> and then I'd go to my encyclopedia. I had World Book encyclopedias. Yeah. I would go there, and they got nothing. I talked to my mom about it. But my dad's gonna be no help. <laughs> uh, you know, my mom's an educator. <laughs> like, I don't. I'm watching <laughs> Dustin <laughs> Rhodes, the American Dream. <laughs> and then, so I would just dro- do like a question, or yeah. I would write around it a lot to make them think that I was like, oh, I got to make it look like I was really slaving on this one. Yeah, and yeah. there was no answer until the next day. So I understand. Like I've heard like Neil deGrasse Tyson talk about like it's not about uh, you know using what you learned in school it's about learning how to learn you know and getting your brain oh, well that's good you know <laughs> figuring out how to problem solve right that's really what it is about and I understand that but if the computer Alexa or the internet has all the answers are you just looking at at the question and then typing in uh, the question in Google or asking Alexa and it's giving you the answer. So what is happening at this point? You're <laughs> learning how to use you're, you're, the... You're learning how to use the com- a computer right. super well, intelligence. It's the same argument with the AI, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, this is the exact same argument that people are having about like, well, you can't beat AI. You just got to know how to control it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, right? Or be like the guy that controls the AI or controls the prompts. So, so essentially, every student nowadays is, are, is using the internet, the uh, computer, whatever you want to call it, to find answers to the questions. But I would argue that that's what I was doing, too. It was just well, we didn't a, have that. It was just in a different way. But no, we had books. But I would go back through the book if you were yeah. allowed. You would do the same thing. I would. I'd go back through and I'd find the passage that. Yeah, you yeah. Know, that way more work. Is it that, is. It is way more. work. Is it better to do way more work to find the answer than to find it easily, or does it even matter? Because now we live in a world where that's how you're going to find every answer. Mm. It's like unless the world is over. Which we have way bigger problems than, uh, than you know, this. But it's like that. Because <laughs> I do think there's value in, in knowing the process, even old processes, right? Because oh. I think you learn something from that. Like, there is a an element of critical thinking when, like, you're having to dig in the book and you're like, okay, um, it was on, like, they're talking about the two main characters. I know that that one character wasn't in Chapter 6, so i got to go here, go to Chapter 7. You know what I mean? Like, there is more of an execution of thought and reasoning there. That's with— And is that valuable? Well, that's with the, English. Like, you right, know, right. You're, you're, or then, math. No, math is, is pretty straightforward. Well, I mean, like with math, though, like finding the answer, you, I mean. You need to know, show your work. You, know, right, you need to right, know right, right, how right, right. to find the answer instead right. of just asking it's the computer. It's also finite. It's not an interpretation math. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to be like the answer is the answer. But then there's like history questions and things like that, like a question about George Washington in your history Well, class, that's going right? to be a retention question, right? Like, like what you, did you read and did you retain it? But you could find the answer... Alexa, Alexa can give you the answer. Google can give you the answer. So they can. Is there any value into actually finding it in the book? I, as I think there to, is, though. I think there is because yeah, it's, it's like it's hard al- to know. Well, it's almost like saying that's why kids can't order sandwiches uh, when we go to dinner is because we've we've taken away all these small micro processes. You know, like the idea of like getting the book, finding the chapter it's in, making sure it's the correct chapter, reading back through it again, finding the names that you needed to find, circling the passage, writing it by hand. Like, I think there is value in that because if more you, work, work yeah, is yeah, the value. It, it is more work, but work, it's almost like, um, you yeah, know, work is the value of it. It is. But there's also yeah. I think it, it I think there's a level of almost going through the process of it stamps it in your brain more permanently. It helped you remember it. Yeah, it's like more than if you just ask. It's like you'll have it forever Alexa. almost. It's like what George Washington's birthday is, <laughs> and then he just tell you right, write it down, right. and then if you look through your book. But I mean, it's hard for me to believe anybody's going to go through the long way if the easy way is right there. You know, like what? Well, like no, I can right, imagine right. me as a high school student, I'm taking the easiest way possible. Let's anyway. try. We, we, we gotta go. Oh yeah, no. we gotta we gotta go. We'll be right back. Yeah. Sorry about that. 
What's up, dude? What's up? What's up? How's it going, man? How you doing? Yeah. How are you? Good. Looking good. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. It absolutely is reading it and seeing it. That's how you remember. Like, you, when you write something down, that's why you, when you write something down, like notes, that's why you, that go? you retain it. Third that's Monday, Monday, Monday 3. Monday 3. Yeah, so mon- I don't know what's the date on Monday. Uh, is it April 1st? It is. Yeah, April 1st. 4 1 segment 3. Oh, are these for the upcoming <coughs> game? Are they for the um, <coughs> yeah, Open you can. Up. I thought we already had it. No, it's April. Is it oh, in April? The, the oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, take some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. Now, that's another complicated question. Is it even worth your memory space to remember anything because we live in a world where I have a device in yeah. my phone that tells me everything I need to know with every question I could ever ask. So remembering anything is almost a waste of my own memory because my phone has all the knowledge. I don't try to remember. I just remember. Like, I mean, I guess you can try, but I remember everything. Like, I mean, I remember a lot of shit. Well, that you know, the, the, my brain. I don't know if I even had that type of you know, with the photographic memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I remember, I remember full on everything. That yeah, that is different. Everybody's memory works different. It was it's like Monday three, right? Yeah. Like I'm not the smartest guy in the world either. But if I paid attention more in school, then I would be even smarter. You know, because well, I would remember more. But it, I didn't pay. I was the same as you, just trying to get through. It's kind of like an argument. Like they don't teach cursive in school anymore. Right? People are like, oh, like, you know, <laughs> but there's no use for it. So it's a, it's it, you're teaching someone a useless knowledge for nothing for no reason. School, correct? Like in elementary school, do they write? Does Tommy in the yeah. Like, yeah, 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 you write. Yeah, they write. Yeah, but yeah. In, in high school, do they are they all type? No. Yeah, Maisie types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In high right school, now, it's, man. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty even right now they type. No one's got. A, you're not going to the store to get pencils and pens anymore. anymore. Yeah, you do. You yeah, have to yeah. send them with Ticonderogas. But the old school pencil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? Ticonderoga. But I don't. That's I don't remember that. Ticonderoga. I remember number two is like the. But number once two, you get Ticonderoga. But I remember, and even when I was going to high school, everything pencil. turned to when like, you're writing papers. It was all in the computer. Like uh, no, type. well, not me. I mean. Well, not you're, even you're a little bit older. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the youngest one in the room. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I was all uh, typing. Uh, that old writing yeah, with a quill pen. Yeah, yeah, you're talking to Cool Daddy <laughs> Internet over here. Yeah, you yeah. and I are the book brothers. Yeah, yeah. Well, you this put is Cool the, Daddy Internet. You melt, you melt the wax. You put the shit. I don't know what you guys do. Yeah, I remember turning in my papers. I'd have to tie it to the leg of a raven <laughs> and send it out of a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's been watching Game of Thrones. Yeah, so I'm a millennial. Yeah, yeah. I don't fucking uh, write down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you like to bring us back? Yep. All right. You can hear Pat. Oh, yeah. You, now you got cams on. Okay. You all right? Is that too loud? Perfect. That's no, perfect. Good. All right. Here we go. In three, two. Welcome back to A Corporate Time. Is that true? Something in the chat room just blew my mind. What? What does I mean? was talking about pencils, and I mentioned that the industry standard pencil to our, our guests is a number two Ticonderoga pencil. All right. And somebody in the chat room said Ticonderoga is in Lake Mary, which is right up the road. Look, the factory? It looks like you and I are taking a trip to the pencil factory, buddy. We're going to see Big Pencil. Why is it in the United States? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't Best know. damn pencils made. I just assumed. I won't write every... with anything other than a Ticonderoga. I, I guess I'm a it, Ticonderoga Danny. If pencils were made out of plastic, they'd be in oh, China. Oh, that sounds like a racist joke. <laughs> if <laughs> no, no, pencils are no. made out of plastic, they'd right. be made in China. I'm just always surprised when there's an American factory making out uh, <laughs> or like pumping out like <laughs> cheap things. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is weird. It is. Uh, so, well, I mean, how do, do I they? Don't s- <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I got nothing for you. I don't know. I don't know what to Have say. the prices of pencils gone up? I think they have. A lot, <laughs> a lot. They still seem pretty cheap, right? I mean, uh, when you go to the pencil, or like you buy a pencil, you're never like, oh my god. But they, I think they do say like made in the USA and the whole, uh, the whole. Night. <laughs> you want to introduce pencil. our guest here? Uh, Cadillac Pats. Here. Hey! hey, what's up? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Good to see you. Buddy. Good to see you guys. How you been? Doing fantastic. So, Pat, we had a caller earlier on uh, on ACT in a different episode. Yeah. Um, that was a big fan of yours. And uh, I believe he thought you were a stand-up comedian. 
and in which I said uh, he's a bartender. He's just a bartender. <laughs> and then Daniel said that yeah, was insulting. It was, it was her fault. Yeah, wow. Like, like, wow. And I was like, no. Only a bartender. No, wow. No, no, no. Like, wow. Like, yeah. Thank you. It was like saying. It's not her. He does friends. this a lot with our I, listeners where he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yard, you know, just a yard guy on. or only a. I put bartender above stand-up comedian. <laughs> 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 because you make money. <laughs> 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 and you know, I've been saying, you know, we only see the 72 top 72 pencil, $16. Oh, <laughs> that's nothing. Yeah, but it's the world's best pencil, so it's pretty expensive. Yeah, yeah. you so, go your whole life without going through all seventy-two pencils. For <laughs> yeah, sure. seventy-two, but you lose them. Yeah, well, That's you right. do. You use one pencil per day. <laughs> he uses one mechanical pencil a day, and then they all come in here, and I take them back in bunches, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then they all. I'm too busy right playing playing pencil break. Did you play pencil break in high I school? I did. Yeah. I was really oh, big man. into pencil breaks, and then I got into finger breaks too. Do you remember? Finger what was breaks? that? Finger breaks is when that they outlawed stupid. when they outlawed pencil, pencel breaks. Break. Finger breaks, you'd put your fingers together like that, okay, and you'd hold them like that, and then the other people would take your finger and you try to go through. Oh, okay, no, and I make your that. fingers like yeah. Break. I thought you had to hold it like this, like oh, touching we tips. Oh, didn't do that. That's gay. <laughs> 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 like this. No, like that was impossible to break. No, that. it's not impossible to yeah, break. Yeah, that. You no, get, that, that's it. cheating. I could, go, I could go right through your fingers every <laughs> single time. This You'll never beat me in finger breaks together. No, you you hold it flat. You hold it flat yeah, down yeah, like yeah. that. Why are you going to break that? And go ahead, go, let's see. Let's I go see right it. through. Oh, you're right you through the middle? This is great for radio. Okay, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to break it down Let's see it. I'm going to hold this. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, still got it. Still the champ. Class of 94, Deland High School. Big a break, mother Emma. <laughs> You got me. <laughs> you got me right? I feel like I feel, less I feel of a man. I feel alive again. My God, I feel like uh, I feel like uh, it woke you up. I, yeah, I feel. I feel you like think I, I you took the power. Of the I feel company. like I want to kiss one of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for questioning your finger break. I, I thought that yeah. couldn't be done. Oh my God! I, I, I held it that. as strong as I could. I know. I saw you, and you got strong. Well, yeah, he's got stronger know, your hands. Your hands weaker. My whole hands. Uh, yeah, my feet the now. fingers, your shoulders, right? Uh, yeah, carpal tunnel. Uh, oh my God! So what's going on, men. buddy? What's what's going on in the world of the '90s superhero that is Cadillac? Yes, um, I just. Recently got my um I got my fixing on my house. You know, I got the house painted, I've got a new right. roof, I got new gutters. When you get new gutters on a house, that like is like the chef's kiss. I want it to rain now. <laughs> I want it to rain. For a dad. Uh, even though I'm yeah. just putting Cadillac Pat in yeah, the yeah. dad yeah. homeowner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. kind of just an older man starts taking great pride in his yeah. house. And, and, the and the yard. And, and the yard. I feel like you got to have a kid. <laughs> and then new nah. new gutters. You you go out there. You look at yeah. them. <laughs> I've yeah. never purchased gutters. Uh, really? Oh, oh yeah. Because I guess uh, you, no. you, you, you even your old place? No, my old place. Like every house I've ever bought like, came with gutters. Yeah. And they're always really bad and yeah. then I, before replacing them i would just sell the house yeah i got yeah. i got guys do it for me i got they're called seamless gutters i got professional gutters put in so they're 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 these are nice they ain't going nowhere no oh, leaks he, he outdid did you <laughs> he got proposed yeah yeah i got the whole house you, mean you didn't get up there like tom no. and... i did before and it was just, i realized it's too much work when i did it like 15 no, years no ago. you yeah, can't yeah. do it like a secure roofing did my gutters once they did the new roof usually Fancy roofing companies yeah. like yeah, yeah. You know, so secure to do your roof and your gutters Yours are pretty sophisticated but his are, there's so much watery is a series of locks. See, if oh. you, <laughs> yeah, they sell gutters at Home Depot like sections, but then you gotta like uh, rivet them in between. Yes. You know, and yes. it's the the I seamless gutter because they cut them on the truck. Yes, they 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 mold them as like sheets, and they're like, nah, and the, the the truck will push out as long that's gutter. That's pretty cool. And then cut it in that way. Yes, you know, you don't have. The, I'm impressed with any business that they we do it on site. If you, I'm impressed with any business. Yeah, yeah. You want to make a lot of money? Get into gutter business because these guys i mean i understand the machine that, that it takes to make it and the material costs money and it, it they have to invest in that but they did two days of two different days of work two hours four hours total of work and they made a mint off of me for like the seamless gutters and it's, you, a, it's a racket i mean it's i know I, under, I understand but it was like damn it was quick you want to make more money sell pain pills to the gutter business I know, I know, <laughs> yeah, to, the, to the installers <laughs> and you're yeah, increasing yeah. their their the amount of gutters they can put up yeah. because you know uh, a man with three pain pills in him will put up <laughs> two and a half cents of gutters. But you're right, like that business, because not that many people are into it. Like, yeah. Into it, like the material is not that much. Can't like, be. It's it, aluminum. It, yeah, it's, it's, I think I'm surprised that we haven't changed the design of gutters. 
I know it's super simple. It's just a trough <laughs> to catch water, yeah. and then you have to uh, have somewhere to go, yeah. and then it's like down spout, and then the like you get the uh, the little connector that shoots it out further. You know what I like though. <laughs> you know what I like. You yeah. You put the little, little connector, tray. and then you put yeah. the little green. So like it's yeah. like it's like concrete. It, uh, I got. But one. yeah, they have plastic. It goes like that. It's like it's like skinnier, and then it gets wider. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's <laughs> to spread it out so it doesn't cut a gully into your neighbor's yard, right? I, I got a fancy one that looks. Like River Rock. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh. That's how you know it. it's just stamped plastic. Yeah, River yeah. Rock. Made in, made here in America. <laughs> and, then, and then I put it next to a barren dirt field. <laughs> so when you walk, you're like, this is a River Rock, it's just stamped uh, Chinese plastic garbage. But I think to myself, like, I got the fancy River Rock one, not even realizing once I put it down on the dirt field, it doesn't blend in anything. You were, you've always been a fan of. Like getting your concrete or anything stamped like rock, right? Like you're a sure. you're big, you're stamping. Down. Paint my grass, stamp my concrete. <laughs> I like he likes novelty faux exterior. Like you are a faux exterior yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like he likes because it's it. cheaper. Th- it yeah, looks it's easier fancy. to keep up with. Yeah, no, I got that one wrong. It was concrete stamped to look like wood. Is what you <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah, what it was. Oh, like a like your whole back patio. Yeah, like, yeah, his whole yeah, back yeah, patio yeah. looked like Captain Jack Sparrow's <laughs> clubhouse. <laughs> is your you got all that grass you're doing is that still going good no, in your driveway I, I, listen when they poured i had to redo all that when they, they poured over it i don't matter i was like we paid for this uh fake wood he, I, it's one of the matters i've ever seen it because uh, the, i remember what you paid for it and then they did it twice if i remember yeah. correctly they did it once and they weren't satisfied so they restamped it there's a whole industry of uh, that is made for poor people to look want, fancy. To look fancy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and what's Solar weird. Solar powered outdoor lights. <laughs> yes. I'm looking at you. What, what's, yes. What's weird is that like rich people know it's trash. Yeah. So who are you looking for? But it's other poor people. Yeah. They see because they have the same mentality. It's for poor people to elevate themselves within <laughs> the poor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, I've done it before. So, I bought all of the products. There, there was a time where I got my grass painted green. <laughs> like, I lived in Deltona, and I yeah. thought about this the other day. There was a company that advertised at the radio station. Is Pro- this company so- <laughs> probably out of business. <laughs> what, they, what do they paint it? Like, is it like a chemical to treat it? Or no, it- no, 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 no. no it's, I think no it's, treating. It's just, <laughs> it's just painting. It, so all in Deltona, this would. I don't know why in Deltona, uh, but everybody's grass turned uh, doodoo brown, brown yeah. in yeah. the winter, right? Yeah, probably still this. this uh, maybe because of uh, I think it's all warmer. Br- I think it's all brown now. Uh, it snowed in Deltona when I lived there. <laughs> I don't think it does. Yeah, anymore. we haven't had a cold winter in like ten years. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> Al Gore said something about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. We gore. might want to look into it. But too busy. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the the service and I I promoted it on the radio station. That's why they came and did it for free at my house. They came over with uh, essentially it was a, a paint sprayer, like a industrial paint sprayer, commercial or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, they loaded it full of like. Did they use a refrigerator box to edge out your driveway? <laughs> because <laughs> that's what I. That's what I want. Is I want them to lay a refrigerator box out. <laughs> no, they're holding it. They, they 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 were holding it. Yeah, like those like those homeless guys. They do the paintings where they use only yeah. spray cans and then they make it look like the moon and the yeah, stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Everybody's seen the I homeless moon and the stars paintings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what they were doing. To yeah. Your oh, yeah. Some newspaper. They sc- they yeah, scrunch they it on there. Watch this. Yeah. Oh, that's Mars. I can do that. I know how to do that. <laughs> and uh, of course, I was like, yeah. Uh, like I signed up for her. Like I want green grass. Now the green that they chose yeah, very was fluorescent. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not like a Look like the Seattle Seahawks. A construction <laughs> worker's vest. <laughs> I'm, I'm like holy fluorescent crap. green, right? It wasn't like a deep, Marshawn green. <laughs> it's, it's like a Saint Augustine, like a woodsy type look. It was just fluorescent green, bright, and it was Spotify green. And I, yes. I don't know if they if thought about this, but uh, they can only go up to my neighbor's doo doo yard. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, so you should have paid for that. That's you cheaping out. You should have paid for that. So the li- it was just a stark line between my neighbor. It went like dead grass Deltona to a line of fluorescent yeah. green, and then of course my other neighbor back to doo doo grass. So I it was a weird. As you drove down the uh, street, you would look at my house and you're like, "What the hell? <laughs> 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 like, what, what's going?" Going on because it was bright Seahawks it's green. Like if somebody put the Simpsons house like dead center of Deltona or something. And I remember after Crystal made fun of me and this is this is how long did it last? Like serious questions because I know we've we've the mentioned whole winter. this. 
So it stayed green. Could you walk on it? Did it crunch? Was it like? Yeah, yeah. Some weeds would like the sand spurs would grow up. Like yeah. all the weeds would grow up. So there's like fluorescent green with, with, with sand spurs. <laughs> and then it did this weird thing where when spring came and it started to grow the grass again. Red, bright like, red, like, blood red. <laughs> like, it turned red. <laughs> like, like, you know how like women have like they dye their hair and the, the, the true ombre. color the comes ombre. out. Yeah. Yeah, ombre. Yeah. It was coming out like that. Where, like, oh, because the oh, base yeah. of it was bright. And it was regular grass. Yeah, other through. yards are like, you need to get your roots done. <laughs> I seen an infomercial years ago. It was like Billy Mays. Like it was the same kind of thing, but it, it was like a seed. Also, they would yeah. Billy like, Mays they sprayed they sprayed like a cinder block, and then it would like the grass would grow yeah, on Billy the cinder Mays block. Billy Mays had yeah, yeah. a green Wheat paint grass. that had no. His was green paint, but they're like this time we've added uh, grass seed. Yeah, yeah, because they yeah had, they'd had the wheat the wheat grass seeds. It's kind of like the chia pet uh, seed. Yeah. You know, like I've planted wheat grass in my front yard for years before I got uh, the mm-hmm. sod. And, uh, yeah, that stuff will grow, like, long, uh, you know, little, almost like Easter wheatgrass. Like, it's super delicate, too. Like, one footprint, and it's there forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you, you, can't, you know, it doesn't come back. You step on it, and then there's a footprint forever. Look, speaking of Billy Mays, look, tell, you, tell me your boy wasn't a great Billy Mays for Halloween one was year. Was that you? Yeah, me. Okay, there's a, picture of, there's a picture of the deceased Billy Mays. Yeah. And, that's and a... deceased wild man JJ, my buddy. Oh, wild man Why'd JJ. you bring it up, man? You had to bring it up. <laughs> no, 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 I meant no, Billy Mays. No, I meant Billy Mays is deceased, not Thanks JJ. Whatever, I'm man. sorry. So, now, were you Billy Mays after Billy Mays had died? I don't. Rem- I don't remember. Oh, no, conveniently, no. yeah. That was um, two thousand and like nine or ten. I think. It, I think he might have been passed already, or I don't know. I don't yeah. remember. It makes sense. In remember when our friend Tiffany was going back and forth, and Billy Mays and the British guy were priming her to be the next female Billy Mays. Wait, for real? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. My we mind, to, my mind is working. In real today. life? Tiffany from the yes, formerly of the Monsters, now of Salty Sisters. Go there and buy her hamburgers yeah, and, and Cocoa Beach. Drink yes. copious amounts of beer. It's a great little beach bar. Tiffany, at one point, I'm sorry, I just thought of we, it. We need that. She, I remember she called me excited and she told me, this is a new story. She's like, I'm hanging out with Billy Mays and the other guy's name, yeah. the Australian guy, yep. the British guy. They took over with Maury, Billy. Maury, Maury, and he's very nice. And they were like, you got the goods, you know how to spiel, you're going to be the new. And they were like, and he, they said, like, you're going to be the hot female Billy Mays and you're going to be a, new, a product spieler. Yeah. And all you have to do is <laughs> 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 where it gets a little ditty. Gets a little ditty. There's a price for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what you have to do. Anyway. Who wins uh, in a fight? Billy Mays or the My Pillow guy? Who would I fight? Yeah, who would win in a fight? Billy Mays, the My Pillow guy, you know, he he's the same kind of blue yeah, yeah. look. He's getting um What's his name? Mike Lindell. Yes. He's being my mind is working today. He's being um I think he's uh, being kicked out of his warehouses. I think he's uh, having a tough he's time. He's very proud to make I his feel bad for him. pillows he's in America, having, too. Yeah, he's having a tough time. And he wears his... his the cross. He wears the cross yeah. on the exterior of... of his button-down... Of, p- of his button-down. I like yeah. it. It's, it's a power the move. It's the only thing he does I yeah, like. Yeah. I like it. Don't Because it looks awkward. You know what it doesn't I say? look like it fits. Be proud of your faith. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Be proud of your faith. That's what Jesus would want. What would Jesus do? He wouldn't want you to put your cross behind your shirt. That's true. God, I'd be such a good pillow salesman. <laughs> 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 I don't want to sell pillows. <laughs> because they're easy, to, they're easy to market. It was like, buy this pillow. so soft. It's so soft on your head. Like, what else do you have? Some- what did you bring, bring today? Right. You always bring us some sort of, like, okay. fun what thing. What do you want? You want cool vintage or you want... We go with this. Okay, we got the Tom and Dan cruise coming up, correct? Okay, yeah, we do. And I'm going to be a part of the cruise. Don't yeah. worry. Are you going? Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Did you uh, fill out the paper? I haven't exactly the... purchased it yet. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's what they all say. Man. I'm going to look around. It's day one. I mean, where's Pat? Where is he? I don't know. Call. I'm going to text you. I'm like, You're right just here. like Billy Mays. You don't worry. Liar. Don't worry. This is. I'm going to be on a cruise. Don't worry. All but right. I brought this on a cruise four years ago, and this kills. Okay, this is my my well, invention. If you say Mad Libs, no. <laughs> Okay, I walk around on the cruise, the whole cruise. Like, I'm walking around with it in my hand, making sure everybody can see it. I'm by the pool reading it, and oh my God, it murders. It's like this, look. <laughs> so, so for those that are, are watching, uh, you got right. the joke, but he's holding a book. It says, How to Pick Up Chicks on a Cruise for Dummies. The yellow, you know, the standard yellow book thing that you get at the store. Oh, no. well, we know. <laughs> no, but for the listeners, for the listeners. For the listeners. Oh, okay, for the listeners, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. They, they knew, too. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Oh, my God. Hey, but it's a picture. Sell it. It, it doesn't um, actually pick up chicks, I'll tell you that, but. Yeah, yeah, we knew that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it makes people think you're crazy. We knew that too. Oh my god! I uh, want because I was on a cruise by do myself. Do you want us to sell those? 
Oh uh, no! It's to sell the Cadillac. God, Cat. Is it one sheet Pat, you just print out? Well, and you well just... it's, a, it's an old coloring God. book. You're gonna be such a fun old man. Hey, look, <laughs> he already is. Yeah, and then no, I just but... put a picture of myself inside her. What a picture from '97. <laughs> Is that your headshot? It is. It That's is. a great uh, headshot, man. Thank you. Thank you. I, I mean, that, Dude, I love you. I love it's been a while. The, <laughs> <laughs> the blue no, painter's tape. Yeah, You're young yeah, in yeah. there. <laughs> the blue young high school tape. pat. Oh, oh my god. That's... And here's the other one. This was more of a prototype. I didn't actually use it because I, I, I got approval from my ex-girlfriend. Did she? But I was like, man, this is. I Hold wanted... on a second. You got approval from your? Is this the recent ex-girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. We know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I got approval, but I'm like, I didn't do it because it was kind of crass. It's like it didn't, but it was. I tried to come up with like a 2.0. It's like, it just. This is the best I could come up with, and I didn't. So bring... How to lose your girl on a cruise for dumb? It's, I, too, it's, it's too clunky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it, already this too one clunky. works so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. This one works so good on the cruise. Like, but I didn't bring it. But that was my other. It was 2.0. Yeah, you went a little too hard on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't use and... it though. Yeah, yeah. So why you didn't do you... have the heart to use it? Like, it's almost like yeah. spitting in the face of your. Yeah, ass. exactly, exactly. Yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. It was spitting. I just wanted to come up with something else and didn't. Didn't. Now this could be weird for an entertainer to say, but I rarely, if ever, possibly never, walk around in real life looking to see who I can entertain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so. Uh, People, you want to bring a smile yeah, to people's faces. Yeah. And, he's, and he's going for me, by the way. He's not going for you. I have to point this out. Uh, yeah. You don't notice anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I notice wouldn't... everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Same. that book is for me and Crystal. It's yeah. not for you. And how you do see you... what I'm saying? Like, Crystal would see that. Yeah, I would yeah. see that. I would notice that. I make a point to people. I walk around with it up, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, I'm, people come out of the lobby, and I'm like, I'm like this with a, I brought a, I brought a highlighter with me, and I was like, so well, you're selling it. You're doing yeah. Skit. Yeah. You're doing yeah. Yeah. I go to the bar and I sit no at the bar. He's a modern day mime. He's the Sea World mime. You're a mime. You're the official uh, Tom and Dan mime. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. And, and you get. He's what a street, do you he's get a street out of performer. It. Now when people so when ask they me laugh, what you do, because everybody asks you, what because we, we don't know how to classify you. Sure. And people sure. go, what is? We had that today. Somebody's like, what is Pat? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to just say you're an artist. You're a street performer. All right. <laughs> I, I love that. I, take, I love that. You're an artist. artist. Yeah, but no one, t no one tips you or anything. They just look at no. it. They chuckle. Yeah. They give you a thumbs up. On a cruise ship, it's so much, because I love cruising, and you, everybody on the cruise is in a good, everybody in a good you mood. You love cruising more than anyone. You love cruising more <laughs> than my wife, and she loves cruising more than anyone. I love it. It's the vibe, right? It's the vibe, because everybody's in a good mood. Everybody wants to talk to me. Everybody wants to meet everybody. Everybody wants to where you're from. And everybody's in, like in a jokey mood. And all I, you wait till you, I, I, I bring enough clothing for like a week on a cruise. Oh my God. Uh, you're dressing up in different costumes. I change clothes on purpose to get people's reaction. Like I'll walk by with something on and I'll make, I'll make sure I kind of look at everybody's eyes. They kind of catch eyes with me. I'll run to my room, put on something else and walk by again just to see them like go like question like did i just see him change clothes so the whole thing is like this a guy's skit crazy the whole, <laughs> the whole time the whole time you're never no, i'm skidding the whole time especially because i've been on four cruises by myself and you're by yourself you kind of just this is making you anxious about our cruise isn't it oh my no, god I like I, this. no but i see it a little bit in your eyes like you're like oh, i'm gonna take the pressure off for you guys for yeah, real yeah, i just yeah. want to hide in my cap yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> with your sons. i'm like god damn i gotta do a podcast <laughs> oh there goes pat again in a new outfit yeah you know that's 100 give me some of your outfits what do you what do you got they're all i well i I have, I have. Are they appropriate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, just my standard, you know, my yeah. my retro look. I have, I'd like to remind people, you don't really go too hard in in any way where you would like be offending no, older people no, or old ladies. No, or no, no. Yours is always like to very, look cool. It's like thirteen plus. Like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had to laugh when you said that so seriously. That was funny, but <laughs> said it so seriously. I I did, uh, I couldn't even stop myself. A couple of questions for the from the chat room. EMH eighty two, and uh, I mean these are a little pointed, a little aggressive. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I don't fair. care. It's hard to offend me. Is he an only child? Why the need for so much attention? I am an only child. Yeah, yeah. I am yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And I like to play. Only children like to play games. I like to play games in my own head, doing things. So oh, I'm jigsaw in my brain. This is like, how I'm, many people can yeah. I kill? <laughs> yeah, I'm torturing yeah. everybody in my brain. Yeah, I like but jigsaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ramsey Bolton over here. <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you in a box. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm I mean, almost being done, a bartender, like, <laughs> yeah. I'll be done with this soon. <laughs> almost done. You got to get on that Shogun. Mm -hmm. You been watching Shogun? No. What uh? What is that? Oh, come on, man. I know. I'm going to shoot. And I got cable. I got Japanese cable. Japanese Game of Thrones. So before we go, I want I want to know what this box is. Oh, yeah. Is. So I brought in a vintage 
Little He's got a guy. I've got a Game Boy. Oh, okay. That I had the screen redone. Whoa. And it's color. Hey. I mean, it's just. It's, That's in really good shape, dude. Oh, what game do you got in there? Uh, yeah, the what main. You what game? What would you have in a Game Boy? What would be the game you have? Mario Bros. Close. Tetris. Tetris oh, is what okay, it came okay. with. The Mario Brothers 4 Game Boy, though, was my favorite. Can you hear it? Let's see. Oh, you're unlocking some nostalgia in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting a twinkle. And I've just got this look. You ever remember the? It was called the Game Boy Camera. I've got a camera that you can. It it's so terrible. I can't believe this actually sold. And it came with a printer. It, the, but the fact I have that, that you too. even have that, dude, is a big deal. Yeah, like you, yeah. You've been really collecting, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I I collect. Yeah, I'm, I'm a collector. You're always on the hunt for this sort of stuff. Yeah. Usually, I mean. Look, you can even look and see if I go to shoot. I'm so bored with AI that I'm actually into this like older retro tech. Yeah, yeah. Because it's cool. Look yeah, but, at look at the camera quality. We can start, you can move it around. Okay, I'll put this on me so we can see here. Hold it's on so second. terrible. I mean, this is 1995, I think, came out. I think it's what it says on the back of it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see me taking my photo. It actually looks pretty cool, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's got a real, like, strange pixelated... That's an awesome filter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It kind of is. I'm surprised there's not a filter made like that says that already. Now, yeah, here's yeah. something I'm also noticing from holding an old Game Boy from that time. Yeah. It's funny to say this, but tell me if you're picking up on it, too. How well built is that? Oh, it feels, it feels like pop it off a Buick. Ten, now, five finally, stories. we get yeah. to be old men. And, a thick boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a thick ass. Yeah, it it's got some weight in my head. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good Game Boy weight to it. The, it this thing's heavier than Nintendo Switch. Like yeah, I, it is. Yeah. It is. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's absolutely. Like a brick. Especially with the camera on there, it is heavier than my Switch. And I genuinely do play that thing. Like I, I'll be like, you know, on the treadmill, the stairmaster at the gym, and I have that with me. And you legit play it. I'm playing legit Tetris on it. And sometimes yeah. people look at me like I'm trying to skit again. I mean, I guess I always am, but I would. I legit like remembering playing Tetris. So to pass time I playing like Tetris. I like the weight of that, dude. Yeah. I feel like everything is made. Well, I mean, like it's, I'm not going to say everything is made poorly now, but everything is lighter. Plastics are lighter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that thing, is, you know, it does bring back. The buttons feel good. Remember, like the remember you you can get a house phone that was clear. Everything we got an alarm clock that was like the same kind of clear look. I want to. I wish they made like an iPhone real deal phone case that was clear like this, so you could see the inner workings of it. Of the iPhone, yeah. You can send your phone out and get that done. Probably, you yeah. Can, no, I've seen it before, but it's very expensive. And then you're also taking your you're, the, uh, you're sending your phone away. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. I, I don't know if I'm into that. I need to do an experiment and give an old Game Boy to my sons on a road trip and see how long it holds their attention. Oh my <laughs> good, I, that's a good <laughs> because, because maybe Tetris because I don't Tetris to me. You can't set any expectations. You can't say anything yeah, about it. You can't. Yeah. You have like, it has to be a, a a sterile environment like you can't taint their brains. Yeah, I think thirty minutes or because now with Roblox and all this, it's unlimited changes and yeah. it's, like, it's like a casino it's, with unlimited worlds to go to. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's too much. So yeah. it never ends. But with Tetris and any Game Boy game, there isn't like you play the game, there's and you're like I'm done, <laughs> and you just stare out the window. The games for Game Boy that I loved were, were Tetris, okay, Super Mario. I got that right here. And then do you have the original Game Boy Batman? I do right here. Because original Game Boy Batman, in my opinion, is yeah, that's a, is still one of, like if you and he's that, ne he and I never talked about this. I'm on board with this. That is still the original Game Boy Batman right now. If you started playing it. You'd have to take it away. It's so fun. It's good. It's good, dude. Now, is it good because you're it, nostalgia? It, it was just satisfying. No, it was just the gameplay was satisfying. Yeah. It, it wasn't that hard. But it, You can beat it in about 30 minutes. Yeah, it's just a good-ass game. Same with Mario Land. That's the first one that came. The Mario, it came out. Same thing. It was easy to play, and it was, it was, it was good. Well, Pat. Um, we gotta go. Hey, so. uh, and I got another. I got an extra Game Boy. I'll let you borrow it for next time you go on a trip. I got a few of them. All right, I'll, I'll, I will. I'll, 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 you could do really do the test. I'll see how long it lasts, and maybe maybe if you're just you want the screen, it just you'll take what you can get. But uh, if they have the other one next to them where they can I go bro or that. Addict, oh, they, that's how drug addicts do it. They're like, well, what do you got? Oh, you don't have those. Yeah, yeah. I'll take anything I can yeah, get. Yeah. You got Tylenol three yeah. with Cody. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. I'll lick your lips. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink hand sanitizer. I've, uh, I've seen. Uh, I've seen it. Anyway, uh, Pat, where can people find you? Find me at the Brass Tap in Waterford Lakes. It's the only Brass Tap in Orlando, Florida. I'm there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday nights all the time unless I'm out of town come see me you mentioned that you heard me on a show you get a free draft beer chat room cannot believe your Game Boy carrying case like hold that up oh, yeah, 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 they yeah. were like where did he get that, yeah, that I mean, he's got the stuff I got the goods he's got all the stuff no uh, one's got that but me I love it that's uh, great all right we will see you tomorrow see ya
awesome, dude. I don't know if we went too long. We did, but it'll be okay. I think okay. Sorry. <laughs> No, you're fine. No, no, we, we did a segment before we got here. Then I was going to do a, a full 40. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to do. But then I was like, shit, I I keep telling me and Daniel, are like, let's, let's stick with 20s instead of just once we get to 25, sometimes we'll we'll want to be just like, oh, fuck it, we'll do 40. But you think I, it does, it, does it hold it, the audience attention? Maybe, yeah, because I was, I was, it's better to end it at, at around 20 yeah. than to push it to 40, and we're going to try to get used to doing it's like that. Sometimes, like, honestly, like when you guys play voicemails, Sometimes people, their it? voicemails get a little long, you know, like, yeah, you know, yeah. It, and then, all right, guys, hey, I want to say hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Too much filler. So, I just want to call I'm like, all right, see you guys, bye. Yeah, just yeah. Hang up. Uh, are we done recording? Yeah, we're done. Doing. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with us. Good job today.